We love our special days to celebrate special things. For instance, National Daiquiri Day. That's right. I, you probably knew there was one, but... <laughs> well, there's nothing better than National Daiquiri Day, and that's why we have Dean Hurst back to show us how to celebrate this glorious day the right way. Is this a holiday for you? Well, I mean, every day is kind of a holiday in my job. <laughs> that's true. I think that's true. <laughs> um, yeah, no, well, like last week was uh, National Pina Colada Day Ooh. and Mojito Day. And this week's Daiquiri Day. Well, this tomorrow, Friday, today, Friday. You could have been back for all of those day days. We're missing you, Dean. I know, but I only could be here so much. This is true. This is true. true. <laughs> but the, the, the history of the Daiquiri, to jump right into the point, is um, this was created in a mining town in Cuba. And what do they have in Cuba? They have rum. They have fresh lime juice. They had some sugar to it. Uh, sugar is often the bad guy, and I always think of cooking, uh, making drinks as cooking. So uh, sugar is there really to balance out the, the sourness of the lime or lemon if you're using, you're making like a whiskey sour or something like that. Um, so sugar is not necessarily the bad guy. It's kind of like the salt. Like you need it, but if too much, it overpowers. And I was thinking about that this morning. All right. like I'm rambling. No, no, it's good though. It's good. good. Making drinks. So, so what we got from this? Uh, <laughs> the daiquiri is r uh, lum, uh, <laughs> rum, lime, and sugar. We've been having a lot of fun too. I think all of our guests <laughs> have made comments about the daiquiri, so we we're glad they're getting made finally. And we had a porcupine here. I mean, how cool is that? That's true. That's true. <laughs> so, uh, but it's super important to use fresh lime juice. So I squeezed this before I came on today. Um, you don't want to use it past the day one. It gets kind of funky flavors and can be a little bitter. And depending on the rum or whatever drink you're making, you might want to use a little more, a little less to make sure it's balanced out. And limes change throughout the season, so it's always good to taste your drink as you're making stuff. So. <laughs> and the thing about daiquiris too, I feel like everyone thinks it's like, you know, they have the traditional frozen daiquiris. You know, you're, you're, you're kind of making something a little bit different from what people are usually uh, accustomed to. Most definitely, yeah. So again, this is a classic cocktail. It truly is. And uh, I, depending on the rum style you use, you can make it uh, in all different types of What ways. kind of rum do we have today, though? So Marti is from Panama. This is a Cuban distiller that moved to, you know, left Cuba and went down to Panama and found an amazing still down there to work off of. Uh, his, name, his nickname is Don Pancho. So that's a fun one. And <laughs> <laughs> for, for me, I like the rum because it's super dry. So it's easy to mix in cocktails because as you balance out the you know, acidity and the lime and the sweetness and the sugar, you're working with a product that's kind of neutral and has good flavor and it's very affordable. So I like all those things. And two things, Dean, that I'm sitting here thinking about. Yes. First one, like I'm thinking rum, lime, my mind goes to mojito. How is this different though? Because I, I, again, you mentioned, I think Zach brought up like the frozen daiquiris. That's Whoa, where that my mind really goes. really aggressive. <laughs> Dean is getting aggressive today. Um, <laughs> hold on. That's the sound of Friday right yeah. there. Um, wow, yeah, I mean, mojito does jump into most people's minds, and I think the daiquiri is just one of those cocktails that needs to be brought around into that that commonality circle, if, that, yeah. if I can say such a thing. Um, but not every bar is squeezing fresh lime juice. Not every bar has, like, a whole, like, a list of great rums to work with. As you, as you can see, I'm using a aged rum, any clear rum. It is rum, lime, sugar. That's the definition. It's not white rum. So, like, one of my favorites is done with uh, Demerara rum, which has, like, this really spicy, like, kind of finish to it. It's super dry on the palate, almost like tannic. Well, I'm kind of, like, the fact that you are talking about so much more in depth and they look quite different. I'm, when you say daiquiri to me, and we talk about, like, National Daiquiri Day, like, I'm picturing that, like, strawberry daiquiri I drank on my 21st birthday kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie, that's where my mind goes. Right. And in, in my little circle, I call us, like, the 2%, because, like, we're really bar-centric. I have a bookshelf full of cocktail books in my house, right? And To go with the tiki bar in your to backyard, To go with the tiki bar, yes. <laughs> um, so all those things kind of make me forget that the average person doesn't connect with a daiquiri the way I do. Yeah, so that's I, I'm definitely getting, that. Getting to talk about it on, on TV is awesome, and you know, presenting to people is like, this is a very simple, fresh, patio pounding cocktail that you can make very light, or you can introduce a little seriousness with the aged rum. So these are actually both aged, and this one's charcoal filtered to, filter to make it drier. So um, anyway. Anyway, right. and guess what, Dean? Do you know what's really staring. great about Zach being here? Make a drink. Do you know I've had to drink alone because every co-host I've had, after <laughs> with Carly being pregnant, now on maternity leave, then Roxanne Wilder's been filling in. She's pregnant. I am glad I have a co-host to drink with me. And not pregnant. So yeah, here we go. That is good. <laughs>